Hey folks, I'm back. We're back. You're back. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I do reactions and reviews of non-pop country music. Could be bluegrass, could be folk, could be western. In any case, I am doing Harry Chapin's A Better Place to Be. I don't know, I don't think I know this one, even though I know some of Harry's music, but it was a gift by Carolina's Beauty, otherwise known as Phyllis. So Phyllis, thank you for this gift. And, uh, and I've got another one of yours that I'm doing as well. Um, but I'm doing the studio version. I think you, would, you provided a link or said if you could do the live version, but the live version was on somebody else's channel. And you never know when you're going to get into trouble with somebody else's channel with copyrights and stuff. We're usually pretty safe, but not always so. I'm going with the studio version of this. I hope that's okay. Here we go. It was an early morning ballroom And the place just opened up Whoa. And the little man come in so fast And started at his cups And the broad who served the whiskey She was a big old friendly girl And she tried to fight her empty nights By smiling at the world and she said, hey, Bob, it's been a while since you've been around. Where the hell you've been hiding and why you look so down. Mm. But the little man just sat there like he'd never heard a sound. Mm. The waitress, she gave out a cough and acting not the least put off she spoke. Once again, she said, I don't want to bother you, consider it's understood. I know I'm not no beauty queen, but I sure can listen good. Mm. And the little man took his drink in his hand and he raised it to his lips. He took a couple of sips and he told waitress this story uh -oh. I am the midnight watchman down at Miller's to and die and I watch the metal rusting and I watch that time go by a week ago at the diner I stopped to get a bite this here lovely lady, she sat two seats from a right. Okay. And Lord, 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 she was all right. Uh. Oh, she was so damn beautiful that she'd warm a winter cross. But she was long past lonely and well nigh on the loss. Now I'm not much of a mover. I'm a easy guy, but I decided to glide on over and give her one good try. All right. And Lord, 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 she was worth a try. <laughs> Tongue tied like the schoolboy, I stammered out some words. <laughs> but it did not really matter much, because I don't think she heard. Just look clear on through me to a space back in my head, and it chained me in the silence as quietly she said, If you want me to come with you, then that's all right with me, cause I know I'm going nowhere, and anywhere's a better place to be. She's so lonely. I don't know if I said this in one of my books or videos, but certainly for years I've been saying that loneliness is arguably the most difficult condition to endure over time. You can be lonely for a while, and we all are in different ways, but loneliness when it goes on too long, it just, it just rips at you. You're just like, what is my place in this world? What is the meaning to life? It's so hard. I drove a 
to my boarding house and I took her up to my room and the wind to turn on the only light to brighten up the gloom but she said please leave the light off oh I don't mind the dark and as her clothes all tumble around her I could hear my heart The moonlight shone upon her As she lay back in my bed It was the kind of scene I only had imagined in my head Yeah I just could not believe it To think that she was real And as I tried to tell her She said Shh, I know just how you feel Mm. And if you want to come here with me Then that's all right with me Cause I've been oh so lonely Loving someone is a better way to be Better way, not place I wonder what the next word change will be Anywhere's a better And safe from home. Yeah. I did not want to share her with the world or break the mood. So before she woke, I went out and brought us both some food. I come back with my paper bag to find that she was gone. Ouch. She had left a six word letter. Saying it's time that I moved on She's always gonna be lonely The waitress took her bar rag And she wiped it across her eyes And as she spoke her voice came out As something like a sigh She said I wish that I was beautiful or that you were halfway blind and I wish I weren't so doggone fat I wish that you were mine and I wish that you'd come with me when I leave for home for we both know all about loneliness and living all That's a long fade there. It's sort of like they, he can I he was emphasizing the little man. So he was short. And that tells you something. And then the waitress says, 
the waitress said that she's not pretty, and I think she said that she's also fat. And so it's one of these things where, oh, so he sleeps with this woman, this other woman in the hotel, but he couldn't believe, like, when the moonlight hit her, you know, there was a glow, how beautiful she was. His heart, like, jumped or stopped or one of those types of things because she was stunningly beautiful, but she wouldn't stay. She didn't want to be lonely, but she didn't want to be with him either. So I sort of get this. But here he's like, well, this woman just bailed on me, so I wasn't going to get to keep her or somebody of her stature, I, I guess. I mean, I'm obviously reading into it certain things that may not have been in the songwriter's mind. But then these two were like, anywhere's a better place to be. Let's give it a go between the two of us. You know, both had insecurities. He mentioned safety. She felt safe. The woman he slept with, she felt safe, at least for a little while with him. But she still got up and left when she, you know, in the morning. And people do want to feel safe. They want to be able to trust the other person and such. But we want to pass the, we want to, them to pass the eye test and the personality test and all the things that go into relationships. So, you know, oddly, I'm not going to rate that song, Phyllis. I'm just going to leave that storytelling go. That was a, a hell of a way to tell a story. That was a novel um, in an eight minute song. And, uh, but I mean, he really could tell a story. Harry could absolutely tell a story. Um, I, I would categorize this as more like almost like folk rock, but certainly folk, but folk fits in the country fold. Absolutely. My opinion. So you can leave yours. Okay, folks, you can thank Phyllis for that one. Carolina's beauty. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video and keep rocking the country and folk.